Hey guys, so I'm just going to do a quick um, birthday haul slash Louis Vuitton um, unboxing. This is my first ever um, Louis Vuitton item um, that I've uh, received. And um, this was my 30th birthday present, so um, it's a bit of a splurge, but I wanted an item that um, would stand the test of time and would be something I would hold on to and um, wouldn't be like an iPad or something that would be obsolete in like five years. So um, this was a gift from my boyfriend and he actually purchased this item um, from the UK um, website and it was delivered to him in London and then um, when he came over um, to see me and visit. Um, he gave it to me in DC and then um, we went to San Francisco for my birthday slash our anniversary and I got it hot stamped. Um, so anyway, um, this is what the box looks like. I think it's the like the gift wrap or gift packaging. Um, it has a leather cord like so. Um, and I appreciate that the cord on the back is actually flat and it has a little, um, I don't know if it's a flirty lee or is it's one of the symbols or whatever. Um, it has a little envelope here. And inside is just a card, um, which he didn't actually write on, um, but they have the Louis Vuitton, um, uh, logo there and then on the back it's like a gold foil pattern and the envelope by the way if you can see it's like this is whoops <laughs> this part is open so this foil part shows through um, when you put the card in so nice attention to detail and um, of course it has the drawer type and a little dust bag. And I don't know, I guess the, the box comes completely out. Um, like I said, this is my first um, Louis Vuitton item. And he did give me, I don't know why people do this in like luxury goods. They This is my proof of purchase. It's like do people think that you just like stole it or something like I don't understand why that is like a thing that people do um, but anyway they come in nice envelopes um, with the receipt and has all the information um, yeah so <laughs> he paid by PayPal which is funny gift receipt. Um, anyway, all that paperwork and such comes inside envelope. And um, this is the dust bag. It's more of a canvasy. I was expecting it to be more of like, I don't know, like a microfiber or something. But anyway, um, this is what I got. And as you can see, it is quite small. Um, this is the um, PM agenda in the um, Amarant um, Fernie. Um, and I like this color. He thought the traditional, um, like the monogram um, print was kind of ugly. So um, anyway, we both decided that this was nice. Um, and it has, of course, the Louis Vuitton um, button here and for whatever reason I really like the because they have the um, was it the epi leathers that don't have the snap on top it's just you know the underneath closure um, and I really I like the look of this um, right there um, I also like um, the PM size um, functionally I think I prefer the um, like the medium um, like this one you can see has very small rings 
Uh, and there's six evenly spaced rings. So this is the equivalent of the the pocket size from Filofax, and I don't own um, any others in that size. Um, I do own quite a few. Um, like this is the Filofax um, personal size, um, which has just have some random notes there. Um, six rings, but there's a bigger gap in the middle. Um, and you can see the rings are a bit larger. Um, so there they are, kind of side by side. Um, and you know, it's a good thing and a bad thing because um, this is something obviously very small that you can put into more handbags or, um, you know, just carrying it on a daily basis as well. Uh, it's nice to have something a lot lighter. Um, I also like it because in this size, um, both in this, per, um, I guess, type of leather and the traditional canvas monogram, um, you can see the, the pattern lines up on the, uh, I don't know, the, the pattern is symmetrical. Like you have this round bit and then you have the the star and then you have the round bit and then <laughs> very um, technical I'm sure someone else knows better um, but like okay so there's the two round bits there's the two pointy ones and then there's the two round and on the medium size the symbol on the strap doesn't um, the the pattern is different like it disrupts the pattern um, so I really appreciate the sort of attention to detail and how, you know, this bit on the strap here matches what's underneath. So there's no disruption when you close it. And again, I don't know why the the medium size isn't like that, um, but that's just the way it is. Um, so I guess um, if you're not familiar with um, this type of product from Louis Vuitton, um, the Amarant color is this kind of really dark, kind of raisiny purple, I guess. Um, it has the gold tone hardware, obviously. Um, it's leather. And you have three um, credit card pockets here, and then a slip pocket, and a slip pocket on the back, and the infamously really tiny pen loop here. Um, and someone suggested on one of the Facebook groups that they, instead of trying to fit like a traditional, like I like to use these friction pens because they're erasable. Um, so this is not remotely going to fit. Um, but they say that they like hook it, which, you know, it's too long for. So I don't know if I want to, you know, just have a pen separately. Um, or maybe I can just put it in like so when I close it or you know once I put pages in you know hook it on the pages um, I don't know if I want to use a ballpoint pen because that kind of defeats the whole point of it being changeable um, so anyway there she is you can see that it doesn't quite want to lay flat um, the Filofax um, they don't make a original um, Filofax in the pocket size. It's just the personal and the A5. Um, but you can see that is very, it lays flat very well. Um, and this is just like one piece of leather on the outside that's then um, sewn together with pockets and stuff. Um, and here is the hot stamp I did. Um, my initial BC. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is the colorless hot stamp. Um, I wanted gold, but the um, sales associate, or SA, um, <laughs> said that on this type of leather, which is smooth, it's not like the textured leather, like the monogram, um, that the gold would eventually flake off. Um, so that's what he recommended. Um, again, I kind of wanted gold, but you know, it's just, I guess, more subtle that way. Um, so anyway, so that's my little agenda. Um, I will show, um, I guess an updated video 
um, when I have her set up. Um, there isn't a whole lot that you can fit in, but um, like I've said before in some of my planner videos, I like to take notes and keep lists, and I still rely on Google Calendar for a lot too. Um, that being said, uh, by the way, it did come with a, um, I guess this is the materials card. It says it's varnish calf leather on the outside and calf leather on the inside. Uh, it has a monogram. Um, a care card and then like a little I think polishing cloth they call it which is the same fabric so 100% cotton made in Italy um, as the dust bag uh, but since this was my first um, Louis Vuitton item or was you know special I guess uh, I did um, I bought these myself because I didn't want to tell my boyfriend to buy $90 inserts because I'm sure he would have thought I was crazy. Um, but I purchased these myself to go along with it and they also came in a little box. Um, no gift wrapping. I did buy these online. Um, and I should mention, last I checked, the Amarant agenda is not on the US site. Um, so if it's an item you're looking for, I don't know if they carry them in any of the uh, boutiques, um, but if you do happen to be traveling overseas and you want this item, um, you might want to look for it there. And it's also slightly cheaper in the UK. I don't remember by how much, but I, I told him, like, you should buy this over there, not only because it's not available here, but also um, it was cheaper. And I think the exchange rate is even better now, or it's, I, I don't know. But anyway, it was, it was a savings. Um, but anyway, I bought these from the U.S. website. Um, I wanted to mention um, basically how it was packaged, um, if you're worried about that sort of thing. Um, mine was shipped from, uh, it says Kuf, Kufna and Nagel, maybe, um, from Cranberry, New Jersey. Um, and it just, you know, standard UPS shipping label um, and otherwise the box um, on the outside is plain um, but it does say Louis Vuitton when you open it and just have like you know this bubble material or whatever um, so I appreciate you know just for security reasons or I guess to cut down on possible theft um, it doesn't say Louis Vuitton anywhere on the exterior of the package in case you were wondering um, so anyway, so this is, again, it came in a little box, and this is the Agenda 2015 pages, and I will do, um, I think a separate video, kind of doing a flip through, just so you can see what they look like. Um, I know in years past you had different options in terms of the kind you could get, but this was, you know, this was it, basically. And it's one week on two pages, um, 2015 diary refill. Um, so there's no, like, monthly pages, which is something um, that I like to have, and I've already ordered from a different, um, like, planner maker, I guess. Um, but anyway, it comes with, like, a butterfly bookmark, um, which I would much rather have like the the plastic kind <laughs> that they used to come with. Um, and then it comes with um, some maps. I'll just show you really quickly. Ooh, and something. Oh, this is the, um, I don't know, I guess the, the product code or whatever. Um, and then they're just bound up in this little paper. And of course they have the, the nice gold edges. And um, I'll go ahead and tell you, um, like I said, I will try and do like a more um, detailed flip through, but I don't want to break the, there, um, so just sliding that off. And um, you can see that's what they look like. Um, and I like these especially, they change the theme from year to year. Um, 
like I don't know if it was 2014 or if it was a prior year but they had some sort of collaboration with a specific designer um, but this year uh, it says something in French which I don't know what it says but it's basically all about travel which is kind of the core of their um, brand and their heritage um, it has this tiny little tear-off pages which I probably won't bother with um, but I liked this one especially because um, here you can see like each month has it's much harder to do this um, not inside a ring by the way um, but each one has a separate um, like city I guess um, so it, I don't know if this was January or not um, but it also, um, it comes in a, with a little story, and this is the French and possibly Japanese, or Korean, I don't know. Um, but they have like nice sort of watercolor prints, and um, like the story here has English and then maybe Chinese, I don't know. Um, but I'll just, I'll read the first one for you. It says, Dear Mr. V uh, this year promises to be one of grand plans and lifelong dreams that have possessed us since childhood. The time has come for me to make the most precious, pressing, and personal of these dreams come true. As a child, I was captivated by the stories of great travelers. I clung to their tales with a sweet longing, roaming the world through their eyes. But that is no longer enough. I now need to live my own odyssey. As you will undoubtedly agree, such a journey calls for a most faithful travel companion. I wish you to design a trunk for me, a practical piece of luggage comprising 12 drawers and one cleverly hidden compartment. The first drawer shall hold the tea service that I am sending with this letter. Thus may I find a little home comfort wherever the winds of chance and destiny should take me. Yours faithfully, M.A. Um, so if you look closely, um, as a tea set there on, in the uh, watercolor drawing. Um, of course that's quite appropriate for London um, and you can see there's even like Big Ben in Parliament through the window there. Um, so you know my boyfriend being British and all that um, I don't know it just made it more sentimental to me. Um, so I plan to like each month has its own city and like a little story that goes with it. Um, like that is the design of the pages. Um, they have some quite different ones. Um, this one is Asseniers. I don't know where that is really. Um, so each month has a different watercolor. Like this one is Angkor. Um, a different watercolor, a different story, or continuation of the story, I should say. Um, and then they have some um, other information towards the back, like it says Traveler's Book. Like it has um, time zones and um, like holidays, uh, conversion tables, which is helpful. Um, so it's really geared towards someone who travels a lot, which I appreciate. And, um, of course, the trunks are part of their, their, I guess, legacy or heritage. Um, also has some cute stickers. Here it has the butterfly, and then it says, like, London, I think Venice, if I'm reading backwards, New York, um, in the same type of font. Hong Kong, Suez, Geneva. Um, yeah. So, anyway, so I think I'm going to laminate... Because um, these pages are quite thin. Um, there's not much heft to them. Uh, I'm going to laminate the monthly pages, like the, the ones with the story and the picture. And that way I can, you know, reuse those or keep them um, without them getting too beat up um, from year to year. Um, so anyway, so that is my Louis Vuitton unboxing. And I hope you guys enjoy that. And like I said, I'll try to film a more detailed um, video showing the inserts because I know people are probably quite curious and it's hard to see um, 
on the website what you're actually going to get. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, please subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.